Today, I'm going to show you three tools I've built that, if you work with data, could help boost your workflow. They are all very lightweight, browser-based tools that accomplish simple but often overlooked tasks. And best of all, they're completely free. Let's jump onto my computer and I'll show them to you. So the first tool is called Dataset Scout. If you've ever been sent a CSV file and needed to quickly understand what's in it, how many columns, what types of data, whether anything's missing, or just what the most common values are, you'll know that opening it in Excel or importing it into a BI tool can be a bit overkill, especially if you're just trying to do a quick scan before deciding what to do next. That's exactly the kind of situation I built Dataset Scout for. You start by uploading your file. It supports files up to 50 megabytes, which covers most everyday use cases. Once uploaded, the tool gives you an instant breakdown of the dataset. You'll see a card for each column, clearly labelled with the column name, the data type, and a count of missing values. But what makes it genuinely useful is that it also shows you the top five most frequent values in each column, along with visual bars, so you can see the distribution at a glance. This is especially helpful when you're working with categorical data and want to get a feel for the spread or spot any obvious issues. You can also filter by data type, for example, if you only want to see numeric values or you're specifically looking for date time fields. And there's a built-in column search, which is handy when you're working with wide files that have, say, 100 plus fields and cryptic naming conventions. Now, one of the things I try to do with Dataset Scout is keep it fast and clean. There's no login, no database, and no data is stored. Everything is done within your browser, so no data is sent anywhere else. If you want to share or save the results, you can download the full report either as an HTML file or as a CSV. It's obviously not a replacement for more advanced profiling tools, but that's not the point. Dataset Scout is designed to be a quick glance tool, something you can reach for when a file lands in your inbox and you want answers within literally 10 seconds. It's one of those small tools that earns its place by just being convenient. The second tool is called File Combiner. This one solves a different problem, combining multiple files into one clean dataset. Think about monthly sales exports saved separately, regional reports from different teams, or someone exporting multiple tabs from a spreadsheet into individual files. File Combiner helps you quickly merge them into a single unified file. While it works best with multiple CSV files, it also supports Excel, JSON, and XML formats. And you can even combine different types, say CSV and JSON, as long as they have the same structure to them. Here's how it works depending on the file type. With CSV and Excel files, headers from the first file define the structure. So if there are any extra columns in subsequent files, they are ignored, keeping things consistent. Columns are then matched by name and aligned accordingly, with missing columns left blank. With JSON and XML files, it obviously works a little differently, but a full explanation is available on the page here. Once your files are processed, you just download the combined result. No configuration, no fuss. Like Dataset Scout, this runs entirely in the browser. No installs, nothing is stored. It's designed to save you time on repetitive merging tasks. No more copy-pasting between spreadsheets or writing temporary scripts. It's also a lot faster than doing it from scratch with Power Query. And the third tool, the newest one, is called Data Cloaker. This one's all about privacy. It helps you anonymize sensitive data in a CSV file before sharing it with someone else, like a client, a colleague, or even for testing and demos. You upload your CSV and Data Cloaker automatically scans for columns that are likely to contain personal information, like names, emails, addresses, IDs, phone numbers, etc. You can also manually choose what to anonymize and how. You have four anonymization options. First, fake data, which replaces values with realistic made-up data. You have redact, which hides values completely, replacing them with stars. 
Hash uses non-reversible encryption to obscure values while keeping them unique, and Shuffle randomly redistributes existing values to preserve structure without revealing the source. Once you're done configuring, just click download and you'll get a clean, anonymized version of your file as CSV or JSON. As with the other tools, all processing happens locally in the browser, so no data is ever uploaded or stored. Whether you're preparing a data set for external use, masking tester data, or you just want to stay on the safe side of privacy, it's a really quick way to do it without a script or modifying the original data. So why did I build these tools? Well, they all came from real world needs. I've worked with a lot of businesses and analysts who are comfortable with Excel and BI tools, but don't necessarily want to be writing code or juggling scripts for simple tasks. And even for those of us who can write code, sometimes you just want a quick solution, not a mini project. So I built these to kind of remove friction. No fluff, just helpful tools that let you get on with your actual work. Dataset Scout is available at datasetscout.com. File Combiner is at filecombiner.io and Data Cloaker is at datacloaker.com. Or just click the links in the description. As I said, they're all free to use and I plan on adding more little utilities like this over time. So if there's a tool you wish existed, drop a comment and let me know and perhaps I'll build it. Thanks for watching. And if any of these saves you even just a few minutes, I'd love it if you gave this video a like or shared it with someone else who works with data. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye.